All right, welcome to the Intuitive Empress channel. Welcome back. Thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served for you on today. This is a general message. So take what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to get into the overall energy. Thank you for my subscribers. I truly love you. I know that some have uh, moved on and that's completely fine because the channel has moved on to other things, okay, um, as we shifted in the seasons. There are serious things going up. There are laws that are being enacted um, that is changing the game, okay? We talked about that before. There's a war in the heavenlies, right? There are some changes that have been happening with you as well. So we're going to get into that, all right? We start... We'll start off on the energy that I am pulling right now. Excuse me. Um, and we'll move on and see how this goes. All right. Anything concerning me is in the description. Anything you want to know. Anything that you need spiritually. Um, join us on the community. We will be going more into that into spiritual things. Check out my Etsy shop for oracle cards that were created by myself jewelry items that are handmade by yours truly as well as manifestation jars okay and more i am also now on tiktok so you can check me out over there if you would like or if you're coming from tiktok welcome 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 to the tribe all right all right so we have starting with open your heart okay somebody needs to open their heart um, in a situation, spiritually, opening your heart more to the Most High God and to those around you, those of you who have a certain mission or calling because we do have that you are um, are to be a light to other people. You have a powerful message to share out with people. Could be your personal experience, could be downloads from the Most High God. Um, so let your light shine, shine in this world um, and help people learn from you. Yes, that's, here we go. Open up your spiritual gifts. Your gifts are needed at this time. So we want you to do that. You might have to stand your ground when it comes to that and what you have been chosen to do. There's a need for balance in your life. Open up your heart and let love in. Love is all around you um, from this soul tribe here on this channel. Also from... Um, God and your angels, the Holy Spirit, Yeshua, all right? There is a certain awareness that you have or that you need to get um, in this situation. Downloads, again, from the Most High. Spiritual strength is going to come to you as you open up your spiritual gifts. The awareness will come as you be a light to others and balance is there as well when you open up your heart to those, all right? Um, some of you may have need to, to pull out um, and pull away for a while to get some solitude so you can get that peace and that rejuvenation coming to you. So that is the overall energy. Now we're going to get into the rest of this here. Here we go. All right. So where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? We're going to use the intuitive guidance deck. So we have a cloud chaser in your midst. Someone who would do and say anything. Flexing for social media. Someone who is full of pride and arrogance. Mm, this is why you have had this closed heart for a minute. This person may have been gossiping, being petty, being nosy, being a busybody in your matters. What else? What else? Holy Spirit. So we do have a karmic connection. This could be a co-worker. This could be a friend, a family member. It could be a mistress. It could be a third party. That is a busybody in your matters. They have so much to say about you. And for some of you, this person doesn't even know who you are. All right. We do have the Capricorn energy coming up. Hmm. You could be a Capricorn. This person could be a Capricorn. Or you could just be embodying the energy of a Capricorn. Someone who's detail-oriented, intelligent, organized, confident. Hmm. For some of you, you may need to get away, travel, go on a spiritual retreat. We have someone in your midst that's full of lust, passion, or desire. This may be someone who desires you or you desire them. 
take it as it resonates or someone who desires what you have. Someone is in hot pursuit in you. Someone who wants you back. Someone is chasing you down. But I feel like it has to do with money. This is someone who has ghosted you in the past. Someone who was in and out of your life. Um, someone who ignores you. There was no contact until they can get what they want. This is someone who is toxic. Someone who is single. Or maybe now that you are single and unattached. This person is going to come, come back. Or they're hoping you're single and unattached. Alright, what else? What else? What else? We do have a divine masculine and a miss could be you, could be someone coming in. It's not the person who goes to you. So in between a divine masculine, you have someone who goes to you, divine masculine, and that provided you with mixed signals. So once you gave their their attention and they told you that it's a cat and mouse game, could possibly be an Aquarius. Or your intuition and your creativity and your imagination has been sparked, Divine Masculine. All right? Um, you are a unique individual who's analytical. So you think about things uh, clearly. Um, quirky, with a quirky sense of humor, but very sincere. Um, you could be a hustler. Or this person is trying to hustle you, running fast to nowhere. You will step on you for, for, for your finances that we see is coming in to you. All right, we have Pisces energy on deck. You might be um, in your emotions or tap into the, your emotional side, your intuitive side, your intelligence, and your passion. We do have on the bottom of the deck, someone is in remorse for letting you go, but that remorse is not because they really care about you, but what you can provide to them. Because remember, we have the clout chaser. It's all about appearances. It's all about the attention. It's all about what they can get from you. They will use your name to bring up to themselves. All right, so let's get a little bit here on what the T is. Let's get more into this. Holy Spirit, what is going on? This is, oh, this is someone who has a bad reputation. Someone who has a bad reputation. Wow, okay, this foul out a drama starter. Okay, this is someone with a bad reputation that causes a lot of drama. For themselves and for other people. They do the same thing every day. This is someone who will try to steal if they can your gifts, your peace, your serenity. Hmm. This is somebody who's holding a grudge against you. Wow. That they rejected you. This is someone who is very shrewd and strategic. They're playing chess. They're using tactics to put you in a place of scarcity. Um, having people not want to be around you and then it's like oh they're there for you this is their attempt to force their way and their will on you because they're broke they're trying to get to that bag through you hmm. see because you're you're a hustler for real i felt that you're focused on your stability you're focused on um getting what you need to have this person is a hustler too but it's a flip side Two sides of the coin, I'm seeing. You're the person that hustles to make sure that you have what you need. Your family has what you need. They need and everything like that. This is someone who will hustle and try to hustle you to get things and take things from you. You're not trying to take things from anyone. You're trying to get it on your own, by your own sweat of your brow. And it is working or it is coming to pass with a return on your investment. And this person can feel that. That's why they're talking ish about you. This person who is always running away from you. And I would say that you should run away from this person. Because this person will be blocking. Trying to block what you have. Trying to block the attention. The public recognition. The love that's supposed to come into your life. So you need to move in silence at this time. So this person who wants to try to marry you for money. Or try to come in. But there's money, they don't even know what's happening until it's actually done. This person is crying over you um, because you, in the past, you had to block the negativity that they had escaping them because you were about to win real big time. This person is going to be um, unhappy of your um, happiness. You've done some time reflecting and you know that what this person is about, they're morally and spiritually bankrupt around karmic people. This is someone who um, mm -hmm. is, is fake. You can't completely trust them. This is someone who is fake fl flossing and flexing. Um, try to act like they're who, more than who they are. So just dust it off. 
um, with this person watching you. All right, this person trying to be intimidating. This person that always parties. They're the ones that are going to be trying to have this offer. And you're going to be ignoring them. Hmm. Wow. Wow. I don't even know if I even want to go any further with that. You have this person um, who is just a user. They're fake. They want to spend the, the, the money and have the resources when you work so hard. But when you were down and out and you were struggling, this person um, was nowhere to be found. Now that the things are there, now they want to show up. You know, we're going to close this out, right? We're going to go with the word on the street. What are the streets saying about this person? What are the streets saying about this person? This person is being watched. Listen to your intuition when it comes to this person, Emperor. So we are on the Emperor Divine Masculine Energy. Something happened last week. Pay attention to what happened. Wow. Know that all of this is in God's hands. You could be dealing with an Aries or you could be an Aries. So you have somebody that wants to pull up on you, possibly a Capricorn. If you could be that Capricorn, second time Capricorn came out. There is a storm warning for a Sagittarius or with a Sagittarius. Take it as it um, resonates. You could work from home as well. Like I said, this could be a co-worker that's upset that you're moving up and that you're moving on and that things are being provided to you. Um, you could be a fire sign, this Sagittarius, and you could be in love with this person or someone that love with you. You have neighbors who have their ears to the ground or may have heard some things last week um, about you. But God says, God, well done. Something could be concerning um, a child that you have, okay? Someone could be planning to leave a situation okay? because there is love all around you. Someone's talking you on social media, possibly even trolling you, trying to make you feel trapped or trapped you into that thing. People are asking for numbers. Watch for people coming back in this season. There are a lot of people coming back in this season. We have speak life into your situation. We have somebody who could be in love with the earth sign you, or you could be their earth sign. But I see when this person reaches out to you, you're going to leave them on red, or you need to leave them on red. Wow. All right, so this is the closing messages. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this message out. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.